Switch the power off on the unit. Next, unplug the unit from the wall. Loosen the two lower bolts from the upper portion of the right handlebar and remove them. Loosen and remove the bolt in the bottom of the right handlebar. Now, carefully twist the handlebar clockwise to remove it from the unit. Remove the finger guard retaining screws and carefully remove them from the deck at each end of the rear roller. Loosen each rear roller bolt by 10 full turns. Then, count the remaining turns necessary to remove the rear roller bolts. Remember to write down the number of turns needed to remove the bolt in each side for future reference. Carefully remove the rear roller from the unit. Clean any wax or debris buildup from the roller and place it aside. Raise the shroud and secure it with a bungee cord. Work the drive belt off of the motor pulley by hand turning the flywheel while pushing the belt aside. Now remove the front roller retaining bolts. Carefully remove the front roller from the unit. Clean off any buildup and set it aside. Loosen and remove the deck bushings from the left side frame rail. Stubborn deck bushings can be removed with the assistance of pliers once the screws have been loosened completely. Move the deck toward the left side of the frame to free the deck from the right side. The deck will move down once the frame has been cleared. Remove the deck and belt by raising the right side edge of the deck over the frame rail and sliding it to the right to remove. When installing a new belt or deck, it is important to note that a new belt and deck surface should always be installed together. Failure to adhere to this guideline will severely shorten the life of the installed parts. Some decks can be used as a running surface on both sides. However, be sure each side is only used once. Be sure to install the belt in the proper direction on the unit. Consult the belt manufacturer for proper direction if belt is not marked or you are unsure. Install the deck and belt by first putting the belt on the deck and then installing them from the right side as a unit. Be sure the deck is lined up with the frame and push the deck to the left side. Now, carefully lower the right side of the deck to insert it into the frame rail and then push the deck to the right as far as possible. Install the deck bushings in the left frame rail. Check with the manufacturer for proper torque specifications of parts during the install process if not sure. Carefully place the front roller on the deck under the belt and push it forward into place while placing the drive belt on the inside of the drive pulley. Replace the front roller bolts. Now spin the roller by hand while pushing the drive belt onto the pulley. Be sure to spin the roller several times to ensure complete install of the drive belt on the pulley. Install the rear roller into the unit. Carefully start each bolt by hand and turn one to two threads to be sure no cross threading has occurred. Tighten each rear roller bolt the number of turns you kept earlier for reference. Install the right handlebar and bolts into the unit.
Now, plug in and power on the unit. Carefully remove the bungee cord and lower the shroud back into place. Start the unit at a very slow speed and check for proper belt alignment. Remember to start at the slowest possible speed and be ready to stop the unit quickly if needed. If the belt is moving to the right side of the unit, tighten the right roller bolt. If the belt is moving to the left side of the unit, tighten the left roller bolt. Caution: Make very small adjustments such as quarter turns during this process and watch the belt for a few moments before making additional adjustments. Once the belt is tracking properly, walk on the unit at a slow speed and check for belt slippage on footfall. If this is happening, tighten each of the rear roller bolts equal turns until the slippage is no longer occurring. Now use the unit at a jogging speed and check for belt travel or slippage. If slippage still occurs, make small equal adjustments to both sides of the roller and recheck. Install the finger guards into the unit once you have enough clearance from the rear roller. Some manufacturers require wax or lube during the install process. Please consult your owner's manual for further information regarding this.